We are. And what do you think we're going to find? What do we think? It says suitable for five plus. Uh-oh. What's the problem? There's no five yet, but oh. I don't care. Okay. So, we're going to have a look. First of all, it comes in this box. Eureka. And on here, it shows you that we've got a, a smart globe pen, augmented okay. reality. We've we got a Britain and Ireland option and... We've also got some space things. You guys like space, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So let's open her up. Can we open it up? Yeah. No. There it is. Oregon Scientific AR Adventure has over 4,000 bits of information for the kids to learn. And the reason that is is because there's over 220 countries and you can choose to learn about the continents, the name, the capital, population, area, currency, history, features, geography, language, highest point, national anthem, or amazing facts. So if you do have the combination of all of those, as you can imagine, you could spend a long, long time without running out of facts. Um, there's also an option, a challenge option, and you have between levels one and three where the globe challenges, challenges you to find other continents, capitals, countries, or ultimate challenge. Now, the beginning level right now is fairly difficult for my six-year-old. With a little bit of support, though, she can do it, and she's getting much faster at it. But I can only imagine that she could stick with this for, I don't know, probably as long as until she becomes a teenager and it's not fun anymore. But there's really lots and lots of combinations. You also have the option of comparing area and population. And we are right out of the box with this. So it comes with the batteries. You open it up. The pen's attached, which is fabulous because you can't lose it um and right away you can just get started playing okay keep going australia's a purple one keep going at the bottom oh that's gonna be a bit tricky This is the app. I've downloaded it by scanning the QR code at the side um, and then signing up for it. And the idea is that you can scan the globe and then you can see some different AR things show up. But we found it to be quite touchy. Um, obviously, this is not one of the high points of the globe at all, but there's so much else going on. I don't really think you need this. Um, and in fact, we probably won't use it just because, as you can see, it's so difficult to get it to pick something up. So aside from the virtual reality app, which we just had a look at and I find just a little bit too touchy to be user-friendly, this globe gets absolutely full marks for everything else. Um, the kids just really love it. They've learned a lot from it. Um, you know, when you get an educational toy that they actually think is just a game and fun is when you're really winning. I love that they're learning some geography. I love that they're learning just a little bit of language. It's just hello, but I still think that's really cool. And um, yeah, I would, I would highly recommend it with the idea in mind you might not get a lot of use out of the app. And if you've enjoyed, please do give us a thumbs up. Always appreciate it. And if you'd like to see more, please do subscribe.